I've experienced Flight Simulator since Flight Simulator 95. Wow, right? Wow, indeed. My logbook hours are as much as any railroad pilot out there. I'm a simulator pilot. Now let us experience the simulation and start seeing the world. My flight today will start from John Wayne Airport in Santa Ana, California, and I'll be flying to San Francisco. In this flight, I will share with you all the flight controls virtually overall the flight experience of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now let us visit the cockpit. Welcome to the cockpit. The cockpit of this beautiful Airbus A320neo is where all the magic happens. In the simulation, you will see a transparent looking bar that shows the pause play and all in-flight and airport symbols. From cockpit to exterior, camera mode is where you will see the airplane, airplane activities, outside flight activities, scenery, and of course, your cockpit control information, such as your airspeed, engines, fuel, flaps, trims, altitude, and vertical speed and angle of attack, or AOA. One of the best features of Flight Simulator 2020 is the aircraft checklist. Let us see and hear it in action. Clearance delivery United 243 IFR to San Francisco ready to copy. United 243 is cleared to San Francisco airport as filed. Take off runway, two zero right climb, and maintain fourteen thousand feet. As you can, as you can see, we did not do a full evaluation, but you can do a full evaluation in Flight Simulator. I mentioned the transparent bar earlier. In the bar, you can see. Let's let's take a look at it. You can see weather, travel to, objectives, nav log. Let's go to the nav log. Nav log is where you'll see, you could track your flight through navlog through the waypoints and see how far we are or what waypoints we're going to be visiting to obviously you won't see it because we're on the ground but you'll see it more live when we go into flight mode you can see vr farm map weather obviously we'll click on there weather right now we're doing clear skies and normally you can you can change it to live weather Next is, we, we just saw Navlog, and well, from Navlog, we'll go to, there's camera, checklist, obviously the bars are open, ATC camera, camera, we'll go to exterior, and we'll get the ground vehicles ready. Let's see in action. Let's let us show you how we get the ground vehicles going. Right now, from the Thrust rest, from exterior Idle. ground vehicles, now we're going to do the cockpit. Cylinder. Right now, we're going to do a full-on starting engine. Let's start ITS those engines. Start. Engine master two. On. Engine master one. On. Engines. Now let's take let's take off.
contact SoCal departure on ONE two eight decimal one. As you can see, we did a perfect takeoff. But at the same time, I was also checking the controls and settings in the aircraft, making sure we have a smooth flight. That is all part of the simulation experience, especially in an airliner. And we're going to take a look at the controls. As you can see, we are flying an Airbus A320neo, and this aircraft can be complex and difficult to the beginner, but as you, as you get more simulation hours and experience under your belt, you'll be fine. And right now, let's go ahead and explore the cockpit. This is the cockpit, and right now we're in cruising mode. We're going to take a look outside. Right now we're flying over California, and we are, you can see right now we're climbing up to a certain altitude. We're going to go back to cockpit. And you can see that we managed our flaps, our engine. Let's go back to cockpit. And I wanted to share with you some of the cock cockpit action tabs. Right now you can see that as I'm moving the I'm using the joystick with a button that's moving me from from one end to the cock cockpit to the another to different views of the cockpit. As you saw flaps, engines. We'll go left, we see the California coastline, coastal coastline, and we'll keep it there for a little bit. And then from there we'll go, and you can do this in cruise mode, and then from there we'll go take a look at the right of the aircraft, that's nothing but California land, that's the co-pilot seat right over there. And from now we'll move forward and look forward and ATC, it looks like everything is set there. United two, four, three, Los As our Angeles radios Center, have been set, we have our Victor AI Echo control, Atlanta. which have, in this control, AI will allow me to have the pilots manage the radio. And then I'm going to control the aircraft. So let's go take a look. We got camera. and objectives and basic controls. Let's take a look at the basic controls of this tab. And let's go there, yes, basic controls. We'll open that up here. Because we're, we're getting away with our cruising altitude, I'm able to take a look at basic controls for any, whether you're using a mouse or keyboard or joystick, as you can see, this is an image of the joystick of the controls and what buttons you'll be able to press. This is, that is your key to know all the buttons. And uh, this falls the same as what controls and keys are active, not just in your joystick, but in your keyboard and mouse. And right now, as I'm flying this aircraft, we're using a joystick, keyboard, and mouse. Next is objectives. Right now, there's not much going on. Just maintain the cruising altitude speed. Next is travel to. For those who don't want to do the full flight experience, just like me or, or anybody, and just want to speed it up. Well, for me, i rather do the full flight experience, I know, but for some, it will they want to get into the descent approach, landing, taxi. They just want to get to the airport, period. That You can do that however you want. You could skip the flight. It, it's a matter of the fuel, how much fuel you have. I know in cases, it depends on the fuel. If you have enough fuel, great. If not, I would go into the fuel tab and just reset your fuel these are the control these are custom toolbars that you want to if you if you want to show or not show what's important to you when flying let's go back to atc right now we got a uh, atc call United two, four, three, Oakland Center. and we'll follow through on that most of the controls on this cockpit as you can see are very straightforward i as I moved from overall virtual, uh, visual virtual cockpit to a more recognizable cockpit that I'm used to in Flight Simulator 10, 
that I, now we're going to go into landing. Let's hear the landing. Perfect landing. As we taxi to the gate, that is the experience you will encounter in Flight Simulator 2020. This is Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The skies are calling and virtual travel is here to stay. Clear to land runway 28 right, Skywest 5808. 